Hello friends, uh, this is the second in part series on uh, how to create an architectural plan. Okay, so in this video, I am going to teach you uh, how to uh, draw the boundary line and the walls and other architectural features for your plan. Okay, uh, if you haven't seen uh, the part one of this video, then uh, there is a link. Okay. Uh, which is uh, showing on the upside of this video you can go and click over there to watch the part one of this video and then you can come back to this video to follow the further process okay so without ado let's get started okay now the first thing is to start your AutoCAD program and uh, this one more thing if you need this file then kindly do uh, drop your email uh, ID in the comment section and I will definitely mail you this file so that you can learn further okay so from the uh, part one uh, we have discovered that uh, this outer box this is our plot okay uh, let me join all these lines first uh, in order to do this I'll select all the lines this is line number one two three and four and I type join J O I N join and hit enter. Okay, now if I click anywhere on this four line, you can see that all of my four lines are now connected to each other. And okay, I delete these inner lines for your reference. We'll create this inner line again. Okay, delete this in order to erase this line, just type in E that is for erase and hit enter. Uh, I basically use spacebar uh, because spacebar in AutoCAD also act as enter key okay so now you can see that uh, the three sides of my plan are completely straight whereas the back side of my plan okay it's uh, in slope so what I do uh, I just need to mark a straight line okay go to the home panel and create a layer first this will be our mm, external wall okay it will be white in color that's perfectly okay okay and now go to this layer external wall okay uh, choose the line command and draw a straight line from here Okay, I like to turn my ortho on by pressing the F8 button. Okay, and just join this line till the end of this boundary line. Okay, do one more thing. Just create one more layer and uh, name it boundary. Boundary wall. Okay, and select the boundary wall, boundary line or anything that you want to call and just put it in the boundary wall layer okay now as you can see that this is my external wall and this outer one is in my boundary wall layer okay so uh, the way the area where i live uh, has some rules uh, some rules to set the offset from all the four sides and if you don't follow all these rules then the development authority may come and put some fine over your housing or your residential building so it's better to go through with the rules and regulation that your local authority issues uh, for instance uh, according to the area where i live in dehradun uh, it is somewhat necessary to leave a minimum of three meter from the front and one meter from the sides and if you want then you can leave one meter from the back as well it's it's a very good practice if you make your house open from all the four sides in order to circulate the wind and uh, for instance if uh, there is some uh, other property next to me let's create some other property okay for instance this is some other property Now if I don't leave some amount of setback 
from this side then there might be chances that the other person might also not leave some amount of setback from this side and what will happen that this uh, wall will act as a dead wall and if you have some windows over this side then it becomes really very hard to open the windows and let any amount of air and sunlight to come in so we generally practice to leave some amount of space from all the four sides okay so let's explode this uh, outer boundary uh, to type e x p l o d explode this will break all the four lines okay now you can see that each and every line will act as an individual line okay now from the front i will give this an offset of 3 meters okay just type in offset o w f s a t offset or you can just simply type o enter okay and give it a spacing of 3 meter and okay from the side uh, i think i should leave 1 meter minimum of 1 meter okay and from this side as well and from the back i think 1 meter will be more than enough or maybe 2 meter or maybe 1.5 meter because what uh, what because the back section of the house can be used in order to install the hand pump or to put some kind of motors uh, water pumps and gas cylinder kit there are many benefits of leaving this space on the back side okay 1.5 will be more than enough okay now delete all the extra lines is now use the trim command t r double enter and it is all the extra lines just make sure just type in t r and hit enter twice in order to use this feature okay just select the line which you want to delete So now you can see that this box is now our construction area. This is the area uh, over which we will start our construction process. Uh, let's see, uh, is it still in the external uh, wall layer? Yes, it is still in the external wall layer. Now you can do one thing, you can join all the walls, all the boundary walls. Okay, just type in J enter again and all the four lines will be joined together okay so uh, in this video we have learned how to create uh, the construction area in the plan and please uh, make sure you learn about the uh, rules and regulation that your local authorities have set in order to get the best result uh, it's, it is not a good practice to utilize the whole land uh, for the construction and later you got into some legal process which is a very bad practice for an architect or a civil engineer or a structural engineer or anyone who is going to build the house okay leave some space it is for your good only and the people who will be living in this place will feel much more happy and much more comfortable rather than using the whole area and some other people are creating nonsense over here uh, just like as i have told you that if people are going to create their houses just over this wall then there will be no air and no light that will be surrounding your construction area and that's a very bad thing nobody wants to live in the house that are completely dark we all need some natural sunlight and the wind okay so i think uh, i'll stop my video over here and in the next video i will teach you how to create uh, the walls the windows and uh, other things uh, which will help you to further make the plan okay uh, so guys please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please like this video and share with your friends it doesn't matter whether you are a first year student or a second year or a final year or a pass out or want to work in a architectural company or a designing company even structural engineers should also learn this kind of stuff because whenever you go and work with any structural engineering company uh, the only thing that you got is an architectural plan and if you do not know how to deal with the architectural plan if you do not know how to use the layers how to use the keyboard shortcuts then it will be really very difficult for you to uh, do the structure work for the drawing 
so uh, for a civil engineer autocad is really very important and this is the basic uh, in order to learn how to use the autocad okay so making a plan is a very simple thing and i think you should learn it so for the time being take care people and keep rocking bye bye